was here on Friday night that friends gathered to celebrate the 35th birthday of Uda Sadi. Then the terrorists showed up. In the end, 19 people died at the Belle Equipe restaurant. Present at the party were Uda and her sister, who is coming to visit her for her birthday party, as well as their friend Ludovic, known as Ludo, a soccer fan who actually jumped in front of their friend Chloe uh, and saved her life while dying himself. There were friends as well there from Mexico, from Romania, uh, from all over. This restaurant, La Belle Equipe, is owned actually by uh, a number of people who come from various backgrounds. One of the uh, owners is Jewish, and there are other owners who are Catholic, uh, and they have a number of restaurants. There's another uh, restaurant, uh, La Café des Anges, which is uh, near Bastille. Um, and so, you know, they're part of the fabric of the neighborhood, and a lot of their friends were people who worked in restaurants around this area. This is the 11th arrondissement, one of Paris's most dense neighborhoods. It's a neighborhood of primarily young people, and you see a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, um, nightlife, music, uh, and it's also one of the more diverse areas of France. Uh, it represents a little bit of the, the French dream of vivre ensemble, of people living together, black, white, Arab, Jewish, and uh, you hear that from people in the neighborhood who describe it as a village, as a family. And people here say that they have been particularly hurt by this attack because that is what they believe the terrorists were intentionally trying to target.